Welcome back East students uh, to the Magnet Cove High School. I know it's been a crazy spring, uh, not how any of us wanted to end the school year, but we're going to talk about this upcoming 2020-2021 school year and talk about the procedures for each classroom. That way you know what to do and what's expected when you come to class. The very first thing I want you to know is that all the mandates that we are asking you guys to do has uh, benefits you. It keeps you safe as a student and other, the other students as well. So let's talk about the very first thing, which is if you'll notice I'm wearing a face mask. Anytime you enter a building, any building here on this campus, especially the high school and the middle school, elementary, wherever it may be, you need to make sure that you have a face covering on. That, of course, has been mandated uh, by the Department of Health and Gover Governor Asa Hutchinson has also mandated that as well. So we're going to make sure that we wear a face mask. Let's talk about the correct way to wear the face mask. We want to make sure that our face coverings or face masks cover both our nose completely and our mouth. Now, I know you've probably been out uh, to Walmart or other shopping uh, venues, restaurants, whatever it may be, and you may have seen people wearing masks in which they only have their mouth covered, like this, which that does not protect you if you have to sneeze or it, it allows the spray to get in the air, and that's what we do not want to do. So again, make sure you're wearing this mask correctly where it is covered up both nose and mouth. If by perchance that you do not have a mask, I believe the school is going to be providing two masks per student. So let's be good stewards of those masks and keep, keep up with those, keep them washed cl as clean as possible and make sure that we bring them each and every day that we come to class. Again, um, we want to protect you and the other students as well. Um, we, again, want to make sure that we're not uh, horse playing, playing a joke, hiding people's masks or whatever, or popping them with these bands. That's a no-no. That's, that's something that we, do, we will not tolerate. So let's make sure that we are doing our part and doing everything that we can to keep everyone safe as possible. If you notice, when you go into each of your classrooms in this building, uh, the, the staff has worked very hard. They have installed these hand sanitizer dispensers. These are to be used for the purposes when you walk in the classroom. The first thing you do when you walk through that, this door right here is you need to take and squirt the hand sanitizer on your hand and wipe it on your palms and in between your fingers to make sure that if you happen to have any bacteria on them that uh, that hand sanitizer will uh, alleviate those germs. So let's make sure that we are using this correctly. Uh, As you can see, the classroom looks a lot different this year. You notice the tables are not bunched up and the chairs are spread uh, as far apart as we possibly can. Um, when you come in, it, there will be a computer set up at each of these chairs and I ask you respectfully to do not move these chairs, leave them in the spot. They're there for a reason that is for your protection and your classmates' protection to keep you uh, as socially distanced as human possibly inside, inside our classroom. Just kind of scroll and let you look at our setup. There are some mini desks in the back, some single spaces, and yes, there will be computers set up there as well. Here is our green screen area, and you notice it only has one chair. That is because we will only 
be uh, conducting interviews and our green screen activities, our video recordings, one at a time. One of the things that I'm going to ask you to do is about five minutes before class ends, we are going to wipe down our work area, your computer area. Now, I will have disinfectant wipes right here. I want you to just take one and we are going to wipe down the high contact surface areas such as your keyboard. Of course, I know this is a laptop, but we would wipe down our keyboard area. Our mouse because we touch the mouse and other students will be coming in to use your computer next so we want to make sure we wipe down the, the mouse area and also maybe our area right in front of us our desk area again we're trying to keep you safe and keep things as germ-free and cleanly as possible. So we want to make sure that we take care, uh, ad adhere to these uh, protocols for our classroom and make sure we're wiping down and sanitizing each piece of equipment before we go on to our next class. Okay guys, you can see this is some of the equipment we'll be using in here. We just got a I just got two new uh, cameras which we will be using for our projects and guys the school spends a lot of money on these uh, you, we're very fortunate that we can get the equipment that we need to conduct ease the way it needs to be conducted so what I ask of you is to be good stewards of the equipment and make sure that we maintain it and put it up and use it correctly um, when you get finished with a piece of equipment, we're going to again make sure that we sanitize everything. I just showed you uh, sanitizing the, your computer station. Well, if you're using one of these cameras, we want to make sure that it is sanitized too for the next person. So you may ask, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the microphone off this camera you just simply turn this counterclockwise. Sometimes it can be a little tough. Slide it out and it plugs in here at the back. We're going to take this off. Then we are going to get one of our handy dandy wipes and wipe it down. Again, this is for your protection and other students' protection as well. We'll take that, set that down. The next thing we're going to do is to take our camera off. So in order to take the camera off, these new tripods, there's a latch right here. You just simply pull that out and then it slides right off. Just like that. So after we do that, we want to take, it has a, an attachment. We want to turn this counterclockwise. Take this attachment off just like that. Then make sure we clean our attachment with a wipe. And then simply attach it back down and click. And then we can wipe that again off as we set that back down. Any knobs, as you see, any knobs, any handles that you may touch, you need to make sure you wipe those down very well. Let's talk, go back to the camera. We're going to get another wipe and we are going to simply wipe down our camera. 
We don't really want to wipe on the lens part. Um, there is a special cleaning uh, lens lens cleaning device that I have. If you'll come up and see me, I will make sure you have one. Uh, but we're going to make sure we wipe this down. Each camera has a little bag like this. We're going to place the camera in the bag. And let me back up just a moment. One thing we want to make sure is that this is the lens cap that goes on the camera. We want to make sure that we put this on here every time so that our lenses do not get scratched on our camcorders. It clicks right on very easy. Again, making sure that lens cap is clean because we touched it. And then place the camera back in the bag. Just like that. Now, Next, we have our tripod. These tripods have an area right here that if you flip this out, flip these out just like this, these things will collapse just like the others. Those of you who've been in here, you know how that, that goes. We'll collapse these down just like that. There's one. We just kind of work our way up the ladder. snap these back down just like this and it should be about this size and we're going to wipe these down just like this anything that we've touched we want to wipe down then we're going to simply place these. Each of these tripods has a bag for them to make it easy for you to carry. We're going to simply place these back here. We're also going to detach the handle which allows us to control the camera. wipe the handle down. Place it in the bag, place the handle in the bag, and zip. So we have our camera bag, our camera, and our microphone for the camera. So that is the proper method for wiping down and making sure your equipment is clean after you use it. Again, I know this is going to take a lot of time 
So between wiping down your computer, like I just showed you, and wiping down the equipment that you may be using that day, we'll probably stop. I will let you know at the last 10 minutes of class that you can stop and we can clean up and disinfect our equipment and areas. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about earbuds. And uh, I know in the past we have a classroom set of headphones which look like this and we have used these last year but you know with the social distancing guidelines and uh, the safety precautions we probably are not going to use these this year that much just simply for the fact that we would have to disinfect them every time and uh, they work real well but um, it's easy to get, even with a mask on, saliva into the microphone. So, my suggestion for this year is going to be this. Is if you, if you have a wireless set of headphones, you can bring those. Uh, I probably, myself personally, I would not bring uh, a set of my good AirPods or you know those that you may have got for Christmas, birthday, uh, whatever, and I would just go and purchase either at Walmart or Dollar General a set of headphones like this. We do want to make sure most of our computers in here that are Macs are older Macs and they have the plug-in that goes to the audio like this. And you may be asking, well, why do we need to have audio? Uh, we need to get a set of headphones that has this kind of jack. And also, we need to make sure that it has a microphone. So when we're doing our uh, voiceovers and projects such as that in our videos, that we can talk into these. And those are yours and yours to keep. And you don't have to worry about uh, you spreading uh, germs to the other students so that would be my suggestion is to you can get these anywhere from seven to ten bucks like at uh, Walmart or Dollar General and uh, if, if that's a problem for you uh, just come see me privately individually and we'll see if we can get you taken care of thank you